So Eminem just recently released the deluxe edition for Music to be Murdered by, and I have to say, this is fucking fire. Fire. You wanna know why? Because he released 16 new tracks of quality. Well, two of them are misses in my opinion, but the rest of them are straight flames. And yeah, there are probably like 13 songs and three skits, but all the skits are great. You know, it's Alfred Hitchcock, you know, setting it off with the intro music to be murdered by and all that shit. So yeah, I fuck with this album heavy. Where do I even start? So first of all, in terms of lyrically, lyricism my bad in terms of lyricism this is a deluxe album done right i'm talking about you know all the fucking bars that simply go over way too many people's heads like the lucifer reference on uh my favorite bitch or favorite bitch whatever the fuck um that song is called with ty dollar sign uh that is fucking phenomenal as well like lyrically eminem is still still has what it takes man i mean for real, like, no one, no one can compete with the fucking caliber that Eminem has right now. Like, everybody thinks that this dude fucking fell off after, like, fucking relapse or recovery. I'm like, bullshit. This guy still has what it takes to fucking be one of the best rappers of all time. Like, come on now. Like, all these fucking casuals and frauds with bad taste, don't let them get to your head and be like, Oh, Eminem is trash. Eminem fell off. Eminem fell off at the relapse. Eminem fell off after recovery. Eminem fell off after double MLP2. Eminem, dude, what the fuck, man? We want to go back to the old Eminem. Nah, man, he, nah, man, he needs to fucking grow up. But, man, man, oh, man, I hate listening to the fucking new Eminem. Oh, man, he needs to fucking change his style. It's like, just shut the fuck up. You people are ruining hip-hop, and it needs to stop. But anyway, I'm getting off topic. Uh, fuck these casuals and morons with bad taste. Why don't we go on to the fucking... Um, why don't we go into the meat and potatoes of this album? So, lyrically, this album is fire. He has a bunch of, you know, multisyllabic rhyme patterns, which are way too complex for the casual mind, which is straight up 100% facts. I mean, it's very difficult to fucking... You know, take Eminem's rhyme patterns and, you know, make it complex, you know, lyrically to the point where, you know, it, it just takes so much skill to do. And it's not just fucking rhyming words for the sake of rhyming words. No, he actually stays on topic without fucking, um, without sacrificing the content at hand for most songs. Like, it's amazing. Moving into the flows and delivery. Look, Eminem is not really the best in terms of delivery, but... Flows? Flows on the other goddamn hand? Eminem can flow his fucking ass off and still impress me. I'm not just talking about, you know, flows, you know, just rapping fast for the sake of rapping fast, you know, because you got nothing to say. Eminem always has something to say. Whether it's like police brutality or, you know, racial injustice on, you know, certain songs on here where he references, you know, Breonna Taylor and shit. Which, if you know me, I... I can't stand when fucking rappers bring that shit up. They usually bring up some type of crutch, but Eminem still has what it takes, you know, to fucking stand up for that shit and actually put some thought and creativity into that shit. But yeah, I, it's just... I don't know what to say. Like, what else do you want me to say? He's been killing it in, ever since, you know, he was in the underground rap group Soul Intent in the early to mid-90s with... Proof, R.I.P. Proof, and Dinan Porter and all those fucking rappers and shit. You know, shout out to the real hip-hop motherfuckers out there that know where I'm coming from because, you know, th those people are real Eminem fans if they know their fucking backstory. And all the fucking... What amazes me is that all the fucking casuals with bad taste will be like, okay, now, man, come on, man, like, come on, man, like, come on, man. Dude, Eminem rapping fast doesn't mean he's good, he's corny. And it's like, how many fucking times are you gonna say the word corny? Like, would it kill you? I mean, would it kill you to use a different adjective to describe Eminem other than corny? Along with other Caucasian rappers like myself, on higher levels of thinking like myself, with great taste in music such as myself. Some of the best rappers of all times, like, are Caucasian. Some of the best rappers of all time are Caucasian. And there's no denying it. Like, Eminem is not even in my top 10. Like, Eminem is my favorite rapper in that, but he's, like, number 12 or number 11 
in my top 20 greatest rappers of all time. Look forward to when I make a top 10 greatest rappers of all time in terms of raw lyricism. Like, we'll get to that, but that's a different video. But yeah, Eminem has been killing it since Soul Intent, where nobody realizes that he has been rapping fast since the beginning of his career. He just didn't do that in his earlier albums, like the Slim Shady LP, the Marshall Matters LP, Eminem Show, and, you know, Encore and all those, you know, albums. Encore is not really that good of an album, but again, off topic. And then Delivery, oh my god, dude, his delivery actually works with the pitch and the instrumentation. Like, Usually, this guy's hook game isn't really that strong, but his hook game, like, he just doesn't miss. Like, I swear to God, his harmonizing has been improving. Like, he actually did well with the fucking hooks. Like, his hook game is very, very strong. Like, there are actually a fuckload of hooks that I can vibe to, you know, as well as the fucking... Like, he pairs well with the features. And moving into the guest features, Skylar Graham, Black Magic. You know, I know how I feel about her. She's amazing, you know, vocally. Favorite Bitch, which has, um, which is probably one of my favorite tracks on here with a surprise Ty Dolla Sign feature. It's, it's weird whenever I see Ty Dolla Sign, you know, a mainstream, you know, hip-hop artist on an Eminem joint. Because it's like the same thing with Juice World, where I didn't think these two would have chemistry, but these two actually have chemistry. It's ridiculous. And then Guns Blazing, you know, Dr. Dre and Sly Piper on the hook. Very phenomenal. I haven't heard Dr. Dre's sweet-ass voice in a hot minute. Like, seriously, Dr. Dre, you know, over the fucking production is great, which we'll talk about that soon. And then Maj, don't know who that is, but still did a pretty good job on the hook. And then White Gold, he killed it on the original Music To Be Murdered By and some songs on Royce's album, The Allegory. And he kills it on Zeus. In terms of his hook game, this guy doesn't miss. And Eminem, you can tell Eminem has a good ear for beats. And speaking of the beats, the beats on here are fucking phenomenal as usual. With versatile production, with Trap to Boom Bab from Dr. Dre. You know, DA got that dope with mainstream uh, beats, which don't sound like shit. They don't sound like typical mainstream ass SoundCloud type beats. Like, they sound actually fucking, you know, well constructed. They sound pleasing to the naked ear i mean this this fucking album is great forward to back in terms of fucking you know in terms of the fucking instrumentation and production it's amazing so yeah um that's probably all i gotta say i mean eminem's music to be murdered by the deluxe edition aka the b-sides project is very good from start to finish this is an entire like unlike the fucking garbage ass um Blame It On Baby Deluxe Edition by DaBaby. Unlike the garbage-ass fucking Brown Boy 2, which is a total cop-out from Nav. Uh, unlike the goddamn fucking Lil Uzi Vert vs. The World 2, the Eternal Take Deluxe Edition, which is hot garbage. Uh, all of those are trash. Uh, what else? Lil Baby's My Turn Deluxe? What the fuck is even that about? That's a fucking joke and a half. But this... This... B-Sides Project? Can you hear me, motherfuckers? I said this B-Sides Project? This B-Sides Project is what I like to call a deluxe album done right. With 16 tracks of pure flames. Now, I'm not gonna be a blind fucking, you know, Eminem dick writer because Eminem is my favorite rapper, but regardless, I don't consider him to be in, like, my top 10. But he is itching, inching his way back into the, into the top 10 spot for me. But... What keeps him from being top 10 is that he occasionally has some corny bars. Like, I'm, I could have sworn he referenced, you know, Fortnite and shit on here. And uh, some very obvious punchlines. But, that being said, the po there are positives on this fucking album that outweigh the negatives. And all the fucking casuals and frauds with bad taste who have no idea what true quality is will disagree and, you know, shake their head in disgust. They'd be like, oh, Eminem fell off a decade ago. Like, what the fuck are you talking about, man? Aren't you the same motherfuckers that bump Relapse? Dude, Relapse is one of the most overrated Eminem projects that I've heard. It's very generic. Some of the songs don't match well. Eminem's accents are peppered every fucking where, especially in the deluxe edition. But, dude, Eminem is improving. Eminem is back. Eminem has been improving ever since, you know, Kamikaze. 
ever since he bounced back from that mediocre-ass Revival album, which is not as bad as everyone claims it to be, but that album is, you know, not that good either. It's like a middle-of-the-road album. Kamikaze was a step in the right direction, and I feel like Music to be Murdered by, especially this deluxe edition, is a, is another step in the right direction. And eventually, we might hear another Eminem album in the next year or two that might be just as good as this, if not better. And mark my words, this, the fucking next Eminem album will be a near masterpiece. If he eliminates some of the fucking corny shit, if he cuts off the dead weight, or cuts off like two tracks, maybe maintain like a 13, maybe 15 track LP, that album, I assure you, will be amazing. So yeah, man, that's all I have to say for this review. Uh, rest in peace out. Shout out to the real hip-hop motherfuckers out there. Um... Eminem, much love to you, man. Keep putting out quality. Don't let the fucking hate get to you, man. Just keep striving for greatness, man. I am so proud. This album is fire. The deluxe is fire. It, this may not be uh, just as good. This might not be the best album of December, let alone the best fucking album of 2020. After all, there are like 20 to 30 albums in hip-hop that are better than this. But you have done very, very, very well. So yeah, it's been Canon Census. Look forward to um, the EP that I'm going to be dropping on my SoundCloud. It's called Young and Exile, Seven Tracks of Pure Flames. I promise you it will be out very soon. I'm recording uh, the vocals for my last four tracks. It's going to be Flames. And also, to, uh, to entice your appetite... Uh, look forward to my year-end list. I will be dropping my first year-end list of the top 10 worst songs, rap songs of 2020. Um, it will be dropping 10 days from now. So yeah, um, look forward to that. That will be followed by um, my top 10 best songs in terms of hip-hop in 2020, along with the top 10 worst hip-hop albums of 2020. And after that, on New Year's Eve, the top 10 best rap albums of 2020. I swear to God, you guys do not want to fucking miss this. You guys do not want to miss quality year-end lists from yours truly. So yeah, it's been K9 Senses. Hope you all have a good day. Stay safe. Take care.